Welcome to week five. Sorry, my voice is kind of in and out because I'm sick, but we are back in Scotland for the Scottish national event. This is the really sad part of my story. My pa was ruined, and my ma and him kept shouting at each other. I was a teenager then, and I couldn't stand watching them go at it. One night, I heard them talking about selling Ori Shalcom. Ori was my only friend. It was a totally impossible decision, but I, I ran away with him. I don't know what I was thinking of right then. I couldn't bear the thought that I'd never see him again. I joined up with a traveling circus, and me and Ori Shalcom would perform. To begin with, it was a real crack, but the pressure was huge, especially on Ori Shalcom. I was missing my family real bad, and one evening, when I least expected it, I was surprised to see my parents in the audience. After the show, we managed to talk. My pa had sorted out his problems, and they'd gone back to live on a ranch. My ma and pa forgave me and asked me to go back and live with them. I knew I wasn't ready for the circus life, so I followed them. For all the money in the world, if I could remake that choice today, I would have stayed with the circus, even if it was a tough life. You mean things got even worse than they were? Come back and see me, and you'll find out. You're lucky. Today is a good day. As I was saying, if I wanted to keep the horse, I would have to take care of it myself. I called him Faye. I decided to leave my village and go somewhere I would be accepted. I was but a few miles from the Mongolian border, and I knew that in Mongolia, people lived in harmony with their horses. So I decided to join them and become one of them. I would have done anything to pursue my dream. Leaving my parents made me really sad, and crossing the border undetected at my age on a horse was a huge ordeal. But after several days, I reached my goal. And then, I'll save the rest for later. I don't want to waste too much time talking. Not when there is so much to learn.
nothing to add. Nothing to add. Yes, that was very well negotiated. Hope she keeps this up. Perfect. Let's hope she keeps this up. Heavens, what a display! Yes, that was very well negotiated. Heavens, what a display! What a display! Yes, that was very well negotiated. Nothing to add. Very well negotiated. Great strides, great command. Heavens, what a display! Let's hope she keeps this up.
Excellent. Now, stay focused.
Don't worry, we'll call the vet straight away. The telephone lines are down, the storm's cut us off. There's no way we can call the vet. I don't understand. My horse was in great shape this morning. What are we going to do? We must talk with the director. Don't worry, I'll do it. Everything's fine. He's going to pull through. I've just got to go and make my report to the director. Your presence will be very much required, I'm afraid. Is Ginger not with you? We couldn't find her anywhere, sir. Hmm. Words cannot express my anger. The veterinarian's analysis has revealed that Esteban's horse was poisoned. The poison came from this vial. Young lady, maybe you can tell me something about this object. What? Me? But I've never seen that vial in my life. But we found it in your bedroom. No, it is impossible. How could you? I trusted you. You are a disgrace. Get out. That's outrageous. Nice going, princess. Wait, I didn't do anything. Let me explain. Mr. Director, sir, since I've been here, someone has been trying to get at me. I don't know why. And now this. I could never have done something like this. There is something sincere in your plea. I will allow you the benefit of the doubt this time. It will be up to you to win back your friend's confidence. However, we'll be watching you.
Spike made this throwaway comment while I was eating a bag of crisps. He wasn't being mean, I know. Anyway, someone's got it in for my girlfriend. I don't know who, and I sure don't know why. It isn't Ginger. I'm sorry. I got carried away. I don't really believe you could have done such a thing. I was so angry that I blew everything out of perspective. Oh, Esteban, I need you so badly. One day, just like that, my father announced a terrible piece of news to me. He wanted to sell salt to a rich Texan. How dare you do that, I said to him. Easy, he replied. It's what I've always done. I buy things, I sell them. Things. He was talking about salt, and he used that word. The news made me very angry, and I immediately packed up my bags and left town to join the Sycamore Riding Academy. But my initial refusal disqualified me from ever joining. So, how come you're here? I'll explain to you some other time. Okay, I'll let you off this time. But don't go starting the judgmental stuff again, okay? Shirley and me, we learned the guitar together, and she had a great voice. We got along really well and decided to form a group together. But we needed decent musicians, so I asked Shirley to leave the South Coast for London, where my parents now lived. My parents were feeling too guilty to say no after they'd abandoned me at boarding school. But when we got to London, we still couldn't find the right people. It was like nobody wanted to play in groups anymore like they did in the 80s. Eventually, we found this rock group looking for guitarists on the Kensington High Street. Of course, we weren't really playing the music we wanted to play, but all that mattered was that Shirley and me were together but slowly it dawned on me that Muggins here was alone in his perspectives. What do you mean? Sorry, Princess, you're going to have to take a ticket and come back sometime. I'm about to divulge delicate information about my past. I need time. So what was your goal? The one you reached? After days and days of wandering, I finally came across a nomad encampment with just a couple who took me in. Even if we didn't speak the same language, we used all means possible to communicate. Hands, face, drawings in the sand, anything to help us get to know each other. They told me their son had died of pneumonia. They told me of their grief. They were so pleased to meet me, and when they saw that I had nowhere to go, they asked me to journey with them and to adopt me as their daughter. I explained my passion and admiration for horses to them. Over the weeks, they could tell that I was trying to prove myself worthy of their way of life. 
These were people who had lived with horses since a very young age and their knowledge was extraordinary. I knew nothing about horses and I desperately wanted to match their knowledge. I became very competitive. Whenever the opportunity arose, I suggest some sort of race or challenge. Not just with them, also with everybody we met on the plains. It was then that my adoptive parents suggested me something. What was it they suggested? Come back and see me, and maybe you'll find out. I know I've been a bit distant lately and I want to say sorry. I haven't been feeling great and I needed to spend a bit of time on my own. Don't worry, everybody has lulls in form. Can I have your attention, please? Harry... Yo! Temple's here. The instruction staff request your presence outside the director's office as soon as possible to assess your progress this year before the exam tomorrow. You have five minutes, not a second. Ah, well, at least it was different this time. Gesundheit, Harry. Our favourite students are back in the saddle. And in this competition, they have the advantage of home Scottish soil. This is their final stumbling block before they move in for the big one. We'll be rooting for you all the way. Good afternoon and welcome. On the programme this afternoon, one of the most difficult courses in the whole competition. Le spectacle promet d'être palpitant. Keeps this up. Very well negotiated. Yes, that was very well negotiated. Heavens, what a display! Excellent. Now, stay focused. Nothing to add.
Hope she keeps this up. Yes, that was very well negotiated. Strides great, come on. Nothing to add.
You're very talented. There's no doubt about that. I never thought I'd get this far. It's not over yet. The toughest is yet to come. Has Q the Conqueror got cold feet all of a sudden? We've had him quite his home, but we're on the verge of the World Championship. And then what are you going to do? Are you going to return to your country? Yes, my family is waiting for me. That's too bad. If you hung around, we could have gotten a partner together. So after the competition, I won't see you again? No, we'll meet again, somehow. Promise? I promise. hard to contain my emotion. For the first time in my career, our academy has reached the World Championship Qualifier. I owe it all to you. Life has been tough, and you have trained hard, but you have shone through. I am proud of you. We owe it all to you. Your methods have made us into champions. Let's hear it for Birdie, hip hip. Wah! I am very grateful, but let us not let the backstabbing go to our heads. I'm counting on you to stay focused. The battle has only just begun. Whatever happens, we are going to stay together, aren't we? I mean, I don't want you to get my hopes up. I love you and nothing can separate us, I swear. And just like that, we'll be on to week six in the next video back in the USA. We'll see you in the next one.